Hey internet, it's Sunday morning here in my apartment in Vancouver and I'm gonna take you around my room quickly and especially my closet because it is a space in my apartment that I have really had to make over um, to make it sort of fit my life and be organized and look good. It was super super grotty when I moved in. <laughs> So much better now. I'm really happy with the way things are organized, although it is smaller than my wardrobe at home was. Um, I like it better. Like, I really, really like the way I've put things together. You can see I have some hooks on the back, and I keep the clothing I'm currently wearing there, as well as the bag that I'm currently using so it doesn't get dirty or stepped on. Um, and then over here, this isn't very exciting, but this is a Martha Stewart by um, Home Depot little storage unit that I put together myself. Um, I got so many bruises putting this together, but it was fairly easy and I am very, very happy with it. It was about $60, so really quite the bargain. And what I keep in here is mostly underwear and pajamas, but I also like to fold um, little tank tops and t-shirts. So the three here that I'm pointing to, those are t-shirts. I don't think you guys have seen these before. Um, they're actually made of plastic, but they look like they're metal, and they just attach to the wall with little tiny pins, so they don't cause a lot of damage, and I am absolutely in love with how the light reflects off of them. I think they really have finished off this room because I don't have a lot of art hanging up. I wanted to keep it fairly simple because it is such a tiny space. I mean, you can see I have room for one nightstand, but not really another. It really has been kind of a challenge um, fitting my life in here because I did have such a generously sized bedroom at home and my bedroom in college was actually bigger than this one. This was actually our guest bedroom bed um, and it belonged to my great grandmother. It is about 150 years old, which is crazy. Um, but it's still holding up, and my sheets are by Diane von Furstenberg. Um, I ordered them. It was my little splurge, but they were on clearance. So I really like the Art Deco style print. I think, again, it's um, really kind of quirky enough that it dresses up this room really, really nicely. So over here, you can see me. This is where I like to film all of my outfit of the day um, videos for work every morning. You guys will be seeing more of that throughout next week as I go into my second week of work. And I think you can pretty much already see the difference from my before. And the big difference is that I've put in some shelving here. This is really inexpensive, $25 from Home Depot. It's not going to last forever. Um, it's made of plastic, so it will probably start to bend eventually. Um, and then everything is so much cleaner because I actually ended up putting in pieces of carpet and fitting them to the wardrobe um, because the carpet underneath here this carpet at the back is extremely stained and horrible. This is actually where I keep my sheets. It's actually a car storage unit. I got it from Home Goods, So it's very large and divided in two and I keep all of my spare sheets in there. And I just have a pair of moccasins that I go walking in. I do a lot of walking. Um, and then these are my nicer shoes. So you can see there's not a lot of shoes in this wardrobe because I keep all of my shoes in a shoe tree that I will show you guys eventually when I do my suit and coat wardrobe tour at some point. Um, but these are all of my boots that I keep in here and then all of my very expensive designer shoes as well. Um, so you can see I have some shoes from Todd's. I have my Vera pumps from Ferragamo. These guys are very sort of Audrey Hepburn. And then I have a pair of boots that I haven't worn yet from Duo that I ordered a while ago. If you are ever looking for a pair of very high quality investment boots um, that are less expensive than designer boots, Duo from the UK, but they ship internationally, are amazing because they do um, fit to measure boots. So you will actually measure your legs and then send, send that into them. So I bought this and then realized that it doesn't fit under my bed, but this is where I keep all of my socks and 
hosiery as well. Some storage bins. Um, the colorful ones are from Michaels and the plain beige ones are from Home Depot. Then I keep my Rebecca Minkoff right here on a hook as well as my little fuzzy Lacenza cupcake robe. Um, the reason I singled out this bag is because I do reach for it very often. If I'm going for a long walk or something at the weekends, I'll switch out of a more formal large bag like that guy that you're seeing there and switch into this one so it's easy access. I mostly keep in their pouches to keep them from rubbing against each other and getting damaged that way. I keep my clothing in a disorganized, organized way. So what I mean by that is I'm not one of those YouTube people who is organized enough to color code c clothing or really divide it up a great deal, but there is a little bit of organization to it in that I have blouses over here that I might want to wear to the office underneath a suit, but that I also wear casually. Um, then I have a few blazers that I wear both casually and formally. Then over here, these are all summer dresses, so I might want to wear them during the fall, but it's more than likely um, for me to wear some of these, but I keep them all together just in case I would get an impromptu trip to Hawaii offered to me. You never know in life, right? Um, and then it fades more into fall type dresses with longer sleeves and thicker fabrics. Um, and yeah, um, these are just all dresses. And then again here I have a few dresses that I might want to wear to the office, maybe on casual Friday or something like that, like simple wrap dresses, um, but would also wear during the weekend, so I keep them in here. So I've brought down, down the bins um, from the wardrobe because I'm not very tall, so I can't lean in and show you. And this way you can see well, hopefully. So these are all of my wild fox sweaters. I keep them next to my handbags for easy access because I do wear them a lot um, when I have the opportunity to be casual. Um, and then the obvious thing would have been to put these next to the handbags, but I didn't do that. I chose to put them at the top of my wardrobe because I so very rarely use um, really tiny clutches and bags like this. Um, I will only really use them for a very, very formal occasion, so I have them, I know they're there, and I don't really need to be able to reach for them too often. And then again, here you can see um, I have some hats. This is from the Hong Kong Derby. I told, took you guys with me to this a while ago, so that's kind of a fun throwback. And then I have some long sleeve t-shirts in here, and these will definitely be coming down um, when the weather changes. It still is pretty nice weather here in Vancouver, so it's going to be a while till I switch over. And the same thing will happen with my pajamas, because I'm a big fan of fuzzy pajamas. These ones are from Victoria's Secret, and I actually filmed my Christmas haul in Hawaii wearing these on the internet. They're the same ones that you guys have already seen online, um, and when it gets cooler, I'll start wearing these. So you've now seen the left side of my wardrobe, and we can move over. See, this side is where I have that shelving um, easily accessible on the floor. I just keep my carry on. I really enjoy looking at it because it has all of those old magazine covers printed on. And then here I keep all my cardigans. These are the only items of clothing in my wardrobe where I will willingly color code them. So you can see I have black ones here, neutrals like grays, navies, leopard print, according to Diane von Furstenberg, le leopard print is a neutral. So I take her advice there and beiges on the bottom in the second category, I guess. And then I have brights and prints over here, so there's some red from Banana Republic, some pink from Lord & Taylor, more Banana Republic, and some Target here. And then finally I have beiges and whites, so Banana Republic, um, Zellers, believe it or not, Alfred Sung for Zellers, that's a bit of a throwback, and then some J. Crew as well. Then on the second shelf, I have my Lululemon items. Um, I have pants, jackets, and shirts. You guys have seen this one in a vlog recently. It is also from Lululemon. It's this bright orange and black shirt that I adore um, that I purchased recently. That was my most recent Lululemon purchase. And I find that if I fold items of clothing like this, it makes it so much easier on me because it's much quicker to put away than having to put something on a hanger. Um, so I really enjoy doing that for casual clothing. Again, I know it's not for everyone. It's just the way that I find um, helps me to stay organized. 
And then I have some really casual clothing down here. These are basically like fuzzy pajama bottoms, some juicy track suits. Um, I have a blue one and a green one. And then just some leggings and that kind of thing down here. Over here I keep all of my formal wear so there's no need for it to mix in with the rest of my clothing because like my clutches, it is used quite rarely but it's really nice to look at so I really enjoy having it next to something that I grab really often rather than put away somewhere where I wouldn't see it. Show you a little peek. You can see some gold and some red there. There are a couple of dresses in there that I just wanted to really protect a little more. And then I just have lots of cocktail dresses here. I love this velvet one. That was a more recent purchase. This one was actually my mom's when she was younger. You can see it's by Escada, and it's printed to look like leather. It's a sort of pencil skirt that I love. Um, then a green satin one that I purchased from Hawaii. I recommend keeping um, formal dresses inside out. Um, it keeps the cat fur off for me um, and helps with that, but also protects the fabric from getting marked by something that might be next to it or rub against it as well. And you can see I have quite a lot more storage units up here that I like to keep um, smaller accessories in and sweaters in. So just to point out which is which and then I'll show you what's inside. I have belts, scarves, scarves, can you tell I'm a scarf addict? Um, black sweaters and then up there those are all sweaters or beach. This is actually where I keep my pants and I wasn't sure about this um, form of organization for pants um, versus hanging them which is what I had originally done and then I waited a while before I showed you guys to see if it worked for me and it really didn't. Um, I find they fall off hangers a lot. It takes a long time to sort of pin them up. I use them a lot and then they need to go back up and I really was not a fan. Um, so Sears is going out of business here in Vancouver and I went over and I saw this and it was just so perfect. And rolling them up is really quick. It is an easy way to put them away and um, yeah it just works for me and you can see it's a perfect size um, for all of my pants. I keep all of my pixie pants in here. I have some jeans from Gap, from Topshop, Forever 21. These are some white citizen of humanity jeans that I recently purchased at Ritzia which is a kind of boutique um, in Canada and I got an amazing deal on them. They were like $60 and they were so long and I had to hem them but thankfully I know how to sew so um, altogether those were an awesome deal. I have belts. I don't wear a lot of belts um, but these ones fit perfectly and I like to roll them up so they don't get too tangled. Um, again this is a little smaller basket from Michaels and then in this Home Depot basket I have neutral scarves. Um, my scarf organization system is highly imperfect because they have to sit on top of each other because I have so many of them. Um, I think there's something that I would eventually like to hang up, um, but I want to find the perfect scarf hangers that won't snag them because I've had some of those before and ruined some of my scarves. Um, so for now, this is where they will be, and this is by Banana Republic, an Italian street market. This one was actually a little steal for me. Um, I got it from British Airways. I was upgraded to first class um, on my way back from England one and this was basically the blanket they gave me and I took it home with me. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, and then I have some more colorful ones here. This is a colorful scarf basket and this one is from Zara from uh, Miss Sony purchased at the Saks outlet in Hawaii. Um, this was a Christmas present for me and um, this is just from a Hong Kong street market but it's a really pretty lilac color. They're just black cashmere sweater. These are the baskets that are on the top shelf on the right hand side of my wardrobe and you can see here I have some darker colored ones. Um, I have a stripy one here from Ann Taylor. I paid a total of six dollars for this one. It was on clearance. Um, I have an old H&M one and some gap here as well. Um, then in the next one, this is brand new, it's from the current collection at Zara. Can you guys tell that I really, really love leopard print? Um, because I can. Um, and then I have some Banana Republic, some Michel René from Hong Kong. Um, this is a department store brand there. And then in a lot of my baskets, usually sitting at the bottom, but here I pulled it out to show you. Um, these are little bags that I sewed myself with lavender grown from my home garden. Um, I did that this summer and it smells amazing. Just touching it is like releasing 
um, some of the oils and I can smell them and my clothing, it, all of it has a lingering sort of lavender smell to it. I keep it in my underwear and my t-shirts and especially, especially in my sweaters. Um, if you can get your hands on some lavender, I highly recommend doing so. Lavender is a natural alternative to mothballs. It, is a smell that moths really dislike, um, so they will not nest in your cashmere sweaters and make holes in them, which is kind of awesome, and then, you know, it's like not bad for you and doesn't have any chemicals in it, and leaves behind a really lovely scent. And then I have a basket of neutral sweaters here, I really like creamy color. And over here I just have a random basket that I keep up there. Um, full of beach wear. So again, you know, if I get invited to Hawaii unexpectedly, um, I have my swimwear right here. This is a Victoria's Secret one piece, and then I have some pareos and beach cover-ups and that kind of thing. This one is just from Little India here in Vancouver. It's this kind of cool long sleeve top that I really like. Something that I will say is living in my 500 square foot apartment here, which I adore and call lovingly the bachelorette pad, has forced me to be a little more careful about my organization and try and have a place for everything because otherwise things just get crazy and it becomes chaos. Compared to my landlord who lived here before, who's a bachelor, I have quite a lot of clothing and things as he likes to remind me. Um, so I really have had to find a way to make that work and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, as with everything, you know, there are always little tweaks that need to be made in the future, but right now this is what works for me and I hope it was a little bit helpful um, to show it to you guys. So if you are interested in seeing maybe a handbag collection video, you can see those were in the dust bags on the left hand side. Opening every single dust bag and showing you guys um, the handbags would make this already long video interminable. Um, so that would be a separate video and then I think for sure at some point I will show you guys my full collection of suit wear and shoes and coats that are in the closet by the door near the entrance. Um, one thing that I want to say as well, it's a little new so I don't want to jinx it, but I have to say thank you at some point because I think I just hit a thousand subscribers. Well, I don't think so. I know so, but you know how it is. Sometimes things can move around. so. I am at a thousand right now, right before I started filming, and I just wanted to say a big thank you um, to all of you guys for watching and subscribing and commenting. It me means the world to me. Um, doing this whole YouTube thing, strange as it may seem to some, pretty much keeps me sane um, throughout my pretty hectic life, and I can honestly say that um, this will be my 160th upload, I believe, and I love it just as much, if not more, than I did when it was my very first upload almost a year ago, um, 11 months ago, um, pretty much to the day, um, and it's just gotten funner and funner to interact with you guys and keep filming. I just love it. So yeah, just a big thank you for sticking with me, and that is sappiness over. I will see you in my next video.